Hey Pisces, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for our Pisces Marathon this weekend. So the Pisces Marathon is pretty much Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in my channel are going to be days in which I post more videos than the dailies from Monday to Thursday. And on the weekends, I have themed readings, love readings, money readings, stalker readings, all sorts of all sorts of different things, okay? So in this one, we're going to be opening it, opening it up to finances, money, and business success to see if there's any important messages here coming to you. Spirit, please bring in the most relevant and important messages that can help Pisces out in their financial situations. Please bring in the most accurate predictions, most relevant advice, and the best guidance for Pisces, especially for the Pisces watching. This is good for Sun, Moon, and Rising. showing up here the magician beautiful so Pisces right away this is letting me know that you want it you got it you know you can get whatever it is that you want if you have goals that you haven't reached if you have projects that you would like to create all of it is in your hands Pisces to a certain extent okay the magician has all of the resources and it just pretty much um, depends on you to put them all together and make the magic happen. All right. What I just heard was you have more resources than you realize. Wow. Okay, in the crossing position, we've got the Seven of Wands. I'm gonna set up the whole reading. This might take a minute, you guys, so please be patient with me. I wanna see the full picture before we start. If you ever want to say thank you for these readings, you can like this video, you can subscribe to the channel. All of those are free ways that really support the growth of this channel and this community. And if you ever feel like saying thank you through a donation, the link is going to be in the description box below. Wow, look at this, Pisces. Absolutely beautiful. So I can see here that <clears throat> right now you are in a position of power, creativity, okay? There are more, more possibilities right now for you than there have been for quite some time, I would say. Maybe even in the recent past, you may find yourself or may have found yourself um, filled with insecurities and distorted thoughts about the possibilities, okay? Maybe for... You know, for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. You may have been feeling like you can't do something or that you can't break a glass ceiling, that you can't go any higher. Maybe you feel like you're trying to reach something but you're not good enough or you're missing something or something is against you. And this perspective of the Eight of Swords, thankfully, um, talks about self-imposed limitation. Nobody wants to impose limitations on themselves consciously. But sometimes uh, we really believe that there is something limiting us and we believe it and therefore it's true. But that doesn't necessarily mean that in reality that is something that prevents our success. We could work around it. Okay? So... I think that you have noticed that to a certain extent here with the magician in your energy right now. It's like you're saying, you know what? There may be things that I don't know how to get around. There may be things that I still don't understand. I may not be great at this, but I can be good at that. 
and it seems like you're finding a way around it, okay? Making things happen with the resources that you have. Now, in the crossing position, you've got the Seven of Wands. And what I'm getting here is the need to stand up to yourself. Not to others necessarily, but to yourself. There are things that you're capable of, that you can be amazing at, that you can really enjoy, and that can make you so much money. And these things, you may tell yourself are too hard, or that you just don't have what it takes. And with the Seven of Wands in the crossing position, it's almost as if they're telling you like, get out of your own way a little bit. In the near future, we see here the Nine of Pentacles. So there it is. Definitely big rewards coming for your efforts, okay? Coming in, in the near future, you seem very abundant, independent, at ease, and feeling a lot of peace in your heart. Having luxuries, having commodities, having time to work on your garden, to decorate your home, to do creative work, artwork, all sorts of beautiful, beautiful things. Tend to nature, to your body. Having all of the resources that you need to be able to feel free. You know what I mean? Like, not only making a lot of money with your job or with your business, but making so much money that you can maybe work less or hire more people or just have a more relaxed day-to-day -day experience. There is a lot of financial freedom in the near future for you as well. And lots of nature. So this could be even like moving into somewhere that has more um, kind of like a natural environment around. This could be having, as I mentioned, a garden or maybe even kind of like a second property in the countryside or something along those lines. In your mind space, you may find yourself conflicted between confronting yourself and making sure that you are not like lying to yourself, that that you're really utilizing the resources that you have and not shying away from what you can do. But at the same time, at the same time, there are things here that you don't seem to want to put an effort towards. It's like I see here, Pisces, that there are things that you could be doing that you're not doing. That could make you so much money, right? But a part of you is like, well, if I'm not doing them, it's because I don't want to do them. And there, you know, that kind of like conflicted thinking, which is fine. Just because it gives you a lot of money doesn't mean that you want to do it, you know. And so there is this kind of like contradiction in which you are trying to honor your desires for pleasing methods and desires for pleasing results. It's like you're trying to find that middle ground, it seems here. What the universe wants you to know, someone here is angry. Could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, could be an Aries. But this person here, to me, seems fiery and angry. This could be an ex-employee. This could be an ex-boss. This could be someone you're working with currently. But someone here is definitely not happy about your success, is what I just heard. This person is annoyed. Irritated, fiery, there's anger. Let me get a clarifier. I want to know why this person is angry. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so they see you living a new beginning here. They see you starting a new chapter filled with life and light and excitement. Maybe they see you right now completing things that you wanted to do with them. In some cases, you know, take it if it resonates. They see you moving forward. They see you kind of like light as a feather, just progressing, making lots of abundant changes. And they may be angry because in some way, um, they may not be included in this. In some level, you know, there could be a fire sign here who feels like you're not all that, that you shouldn't have all those results. They may feel like you're very aloof, they, that you're very de like disorganized, that you're kind of like a fool with the full card here, that you, you know, make a lot of risks, that you're very like ignorant and that you shouldn't have the results you have. And they may be thinking that they know better, that they do have the abilities or the qualities or the knowledge to get the results that they see you get, if that makes sense. And this person could definitely be around you know, throwing some shade is what I heard. Um, not saying the nicest things about you. Masquerading insults as compliments. Or, you know, those kind of conversations in which it's like, you know, I, I would never want to talk bad about Pisces. Because I respect Pisces. They've been through so much, you know. Um, and even with how, like, dumb they are, they have gone really far. And even though... They're super lazy, like they always find a way. It's like, are you insulting Pisces? Or are you complimenting Pisces? Like, mm, you know? And this person may be having that kind of talk with people in their environment. And the thing is, this person, fire sign possibly, maybe a Gemini, maybe a Taurus. This person, um, in your environment here with the Seven of Swords was someone shady. They made a judgment call and their call was one of selfishness in a way. It's like they made a decision that ultimately affected them. With the Seven of Swords, this could have been someone who wanted to ensure their well-being by taking from you, by maybe stealing, by hiding, by charging more than they should, by elevating the prices and getting a cut at, some, at something, by um, stealing objects, by using the company credit card, or things like that. This could be someone here in your environment who made the choice. And they made the choice out of fear. They made a choice to be shady and sneaky and deceptive and it's like spirit brought them here the judgment you know they made that judgment call and spirit made its judgment call and for whatever reason they got not for whatever reason because of that reason they got the shorter end of the stick if that makes sense And right now, Pisces, in regards to money, finances, and abundance, work, and stuff like that, you may feel a little beat up. You may feel kind of tired. Maybe this is why some of you are consciously not stepping into your full potential, you know, and, and maybe doing things that you know would be successful. Maybe it is because you're a little tired here, okay? It seems like you have been through a lot in this area. It seems like you have you know, fell down and stood up like a million times. <laughs> and, you know, maybe you just want to take it easy. The good thing is that with the magician, we're not necessarily talking about effort that needs to be placed here. It's more of a awareness of the resources that you have and a wisdom on how to put them together in a way that serves you. The magician, you know, usually we see here in the table all the elements. 
fire, earth, water, and air. So I always think of it as, okay, let's say that you want a cake. You want to bake a cake. Or you want to eat <laughs> a cake, a delicious cake. But you have all the ingredients. You don't have the cake. So are you going to fold your arms or cross your arms and just say like, oh, you know, fuck that, that sucks. I don't, I don't get to manifest my cake. Or are you going to be the magician and put the resources together and make it happen? If you have all the ingredients, you know, it's, it's just a matter of, of putting in, going through the motions and putting in the loving action to make that happen. So that's what you're doing, it seems. With the Hierophant here in your hopes and fears, some of you may be being you. Some of you may be called to function as, as some kind of like spiritual leader, guide, coach, therapist, writer, author, and in some cases. There was there there can be a lot of resistance. You may feel like you're just not up for the task. Not being up for the task or not wanting to do it is one thing, but just know that if you were to want to, you have what it takes. That's what I'm getting here. And ultimately, you've got the four of wands. So this is beautiful, Pisces. This is letting me know that there is stability. Stability, abundance, success, marriage if that applies for you, celebrations of all kinds, and very powerful connections. And with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and the Magician here, guys, there is so much abundance coming your way. There's independence, there's happiness, there is joy here, okay? So if you were wondering if abundance is around the corner, then yes, absolutely it is. And it starts today, okay? Take the resources that you have right now and really make the most out of them in order to bring that manifestation to life right here and now. About this fire sign, you know, they seem kind of like a disgruntled person, like a, like a bitter... Loser, I don't know why. So if that part resonated with you, you know, it's okay. Everyone gets their chance. Everyone gets to play their cards as they wish. And it seems like this fire sign may have been de like de deceiving, deceptful, deceitful. And, well, they just, I guess, made their choices, right? So you, Pisces, focus on turning the resources that you have at hand into all that they can be. With the least effort as possible okay my loves so yeah this is the reading that i have for you right now about um kind of like a preview on money finances and all that stuff i do see with the manifestation sessions that i've been uh, doing with you guys getting to know each other personally on you on zoom i have seen that there's a big tendency <laughs> and the majority of pisces here are working on financial abundance manifesting financial abundance so you can go ahead and check out the manifestation sessions in the link below, in the description box below. I would love to join you, get to know you, hear all about what you want to manifest, get all of these specifics out of you, and help you make that happen. Right now, the... well, I'm recording this on the 7th. Might be getting published on like Sunday or something. So this may or may not be relevant, but currently, as of today, our website is being updated and it's under construction. So, you know, this may or may not apply. <laughs> but if it does apply, if the, the website is already up and running, you can go ahead and check out the financial resources that I have there for you, including the, the free, there's a free downloadable shamanic meditation with the buffalo as your abundance spirit guide it's so powerful completely free and it can really give you all the guidance you may need to make your financial life all it can be okay 
I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next reading. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if these help. Bye, my loves.